there remains an unmet medical need for a diverse array of allergic diseases, of which the combined disease prevalence has profoundly increased to affect more than 30% of the world population, causing global health threats and mounting economic burden. The allergic atopic diseases, such as a food allergy, atopic dermatitis, asthma, and allergic rhinitis, could be interrelated and sometimes referred as a topic march, which may be initiated from early childhood and is largely IgE mediated. The functions of IgE are hinged upon interactions of its FC region, C epsilon 2 to C epsilon 4, with two principal receptors. First is the FC epsilon receptor 1 expressed mainly on mast cells and basophils responsible for allergic hypersensitivity and inflammation. And second, CD23 or FC epsilon receptor 2 expressed mainly on B cells involved in the regulation of IgE synthesis, IgE clearance, and a host of other immunological functions. IgE binds with high affinity to FC epsilon receptor 1 at sites on C epsilon 3 domain to form an open conformation, while it binds with low affinity to a single chain of CD23 receptor around the juncture of C epsilon 3 and C epsilon 4 domains to form a closed conformation. Since the sites on IgE binding to FC epsilon R1 are distant from those to C23. The two IgE binding events are mutually exclusive by reciprocal allosteric inhibition so that FC epsilon R1 and CD23 can function independently without simultaneous engagement with IgE. CD23 on cellular surface commonly exists as a homotrimer, the IgE binding affinity to the free trimeric CD23 or interaction in the form of IgE immune complex with CD23 could yield an avidity strength approaching that for the IgE FC epsilon receptor 1 interaction. Given limited effects of IgE against worms and cancer, IgE, due to its harmful effector functions manifested in allergic symptoms, is generally perceived as physiologically dispensable and as a legitimate, safe target for drug development. Omalizumab binds IgE allosterically, preventing it from interaction with FC epsilon receptor 1, reducing serum-free IgE level and subsequently down-regulating FC epsilon receptor 1 expression by which to desensitize effector cells. Omalizumab does not bind to FC receptor 1 bound IgE, and so not to cross-link IgE to trigger hypersensitivity like lead do by IgE-specific allergens. Omalizumab does not bind either to the CD23 bound IgE, as it blocks the IgE binding to CD23 orthosterically, and as such, omalizumab theoretically would be short of a direct role played on CD23 regulated functional activities. Omalizumab is the only anti IgE antibody approved up to date and is restricted to serve as the third-line add-on therapeutic for moderate to severe persistent allergic asthma in 2003 and chronic spontaneous urticaria in 2014 and nasal polyps in 2020. New anti-IgE biologicals have been pursued preclinically and clinically over the past two decades. 
Amongst alternative IgE targeting antibodies explored and remained viable in late phase clinical trials, the higher affinity legilizumab is the only candidate developed to overcome some of the omalizumab's limitations with better inhibition of IgE binding to FC epsilon R1 receptor and the presumably higher reduction of IgE synthesis, likely due to a limited engagement with the CD23 bound IgE, despite minor binding site overlap on IgE. However, while legilizumab showed anti-CS2 efficacy superior over omalizumab in phase 2 trial, it did not excel in the phase 3 trial. A new class of anti-IG monoclonal antibody, AD6, the murine monoclonal antibody of the humanized UB221, was found not to interfere with IgE binding to CD23, for which the binding mechanisms and functional consequences remain to be elucidated. In this report, we feature the uniqueness of UB221 that differentiates from omalizumab and legilizumab. Free UB221 binds to CD23 bound IgE and engages CD23 in an unrestricted manner when in multiple monoclonal antibody IgE complex forms, while both legilizumab and omalizumab are much limited in their indirect binding with CD23. The differential CD23 interaction profiles correlate with the finding that UB221 downregulates in greatest level the CD23 mediated IgE neosynthesis in human PBMCs under co stimulation by IL4 and an anti CD40 antibody. Moreover, UB221 binds IgE with a higher affinity than omalizumab and performs superior in IgE neutralization and prevention of basophil degranulation. UB221 and legilizumab neutralize higher serum IgE of atopic dermatitis patients with equal strengths while omalizumab is less effective. In synomagous macaques and human IgE transgenic knock-in mice model, a single dose of UB221 can induce a rapid, profound reduction of serum IgE. In addition, UB221 in the phase 1 single-dose clinical trial with chronic spontaneous articaria patients has demonstrated durable disease symptoms relief that associates with a rapid reduction in serum free IgE level. Thank you for your attention to our report of a very important new anti-IgE which has a great chance to meet an unmet medical need for a diverse array of allergic diseases which affect more than 30% of the world population causing global health threats and mounting economic burden.